it's Bibi Rexa, and I'm gonna show you my 10 minute beauty routine. My mother worked in skincare and the one thing she would always tell me growing up is if you had to choose between using a face wash or moisturizing, always go with the moisturizer. When I want a glow, I got this as a gift. It's like a little wand and what you do is you take this vitamin C that comes with it and you put it all over your face like this. And you just put it all over your face, just kind of blend it in. You take the wand, you hold it on both sides, excuse me. You put the vitamin C in your face and you just kind of go in an upward motion. So a lot of times we like want to like put moisturizer on and go down, like that's not good. And I didn't know that, but like if you think about it, you want to go up, right? You want your face to be up and like pulled and snatched. You don't want it to be going down because we already got gravity going against us. So you go in upward motions. I do this on days where I have like shoots or like a red carpet or something. One of my favorite red carpet makeup looks is definitely um, the Victoria's Secret Fashion Show. Makeup by Maria did my makeup there and I just felt so beautiful. Like I think the most important thing for me is like no matter how you wanna do your makeup, whether it's super light or you wanna pound it on your face, like whatever you wanna do, it's about how you feel. And that night I felt so good, I felt like so pretty and I don't know I just had it was like a really cool moment in my career because I always wanted to do the Victoria's Secret fashion show so I would say that was one of my favorite looks. So my next step is the treatment lotion by La Mer. I don't know what this is but it, it's good. Put it in my hands like this many drops and I just press it into my skin like this. Don't forget the neck. We always forget the neck. My mom used to tell me, she was like, the one place where you can tell when you're aging is in your hands and in your neck. And then my last step is the moisturizing cream by La Mer. I know, I love it, it's so good. I take this, a little bit of it, like that much, put it on my fingers yet again, and I saturate my face, press. Oh, it feels so nice. I'm gonna be honest, some of these skincare products, yes, they're very expensive. I grew up with like a CVS across the street from where I lived at, and um, that's where I would get my products. So that's what I'm used to. I get this stuff for free, so that's why I use it, and I'm very thankful, I mean, like, uh, yeah. But just because something is more expensive doesn't mean it's better. There are mascaras and lip liners and certain hair products that I still use till this day. Like, I'm not just judging things off of the price. Like whatever suits you, whatever works for your skin, as long as you drink a lot of water and you take care of yourself. So the first thing that I do is I like to attack my under eyes. I mean, I, I used to always be so insecure about my under eyes growing up. I've had people make a lot of comments about them. They used to call me Panda growing up. So I was always super insecure about that. But now I feel like I'm starting to really like love my, um, my freckles and my under eyes. Now I've fallen more in love with myself naturally. Like this is who I am, you know, it's like, I'm t I think we're all tired of like filtering ourselves all the time. It's like super draining. So, all right, well now let's cover my under eyes. <laughs> I'm gonna just do like a little color correction, a little concealer and like just powder it lightly. This is KKW Beauty and it's number four and it's a corrector. I like to mix number four and number three together, but for an everyday 10 minute look, I'll just take this, put a little bit under my eye and I would just lightly like mix it in, I would pat it in like that. I think I actually put a little too much. I'm gonna wipe a little bit off here. Don't put as much as me. I think that's good. And then what I do is I'll go in with Huda, Bo Huda Beauty. <laughs> I almost said Huda Booty, oops. I go in with Huda Beauty and I'll just take like a light brush and I lightly powder this, super lightly. Now that that happened, I am using the Shape Tape by Tarte, my favorite, favorite, favorite concealer in the entire world. This is a double duty beauty and I've gotten everybody onto this, okay? It's the best. So you're gonna take this, go under the eye. And what I do is I'm not gonna actually put on foundation today. I'm gonna just use some of this and kind of lightly put it over my face because I'm not trying to do crazy coverage. What I do is just go in there and 
like lightly, I mean, not really lightly, I'm really intense, but lightly go and pat underneath your eye. You never wanna like wipe, you wanna pat, 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 pat. I have some like, 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 I don't know, like some discoloration here. So I'm just gonna bring it down, bring it down here. I mean, you could already tell like the way this eye looks, it looks so good. And then I'm gonna do this side. And then what I like to do is I have a little scar here on my chest. I'll just like bring a little here too as well. Look at that, it's like magic. It's like magic, wow. This is light medium sand, same thing, shape tape, their concealer. And I'll just take a little bit and put like, right in the middle of my eye, right? there's like two dots. I'll just add like two dots right there and maybe like right here. So now we're gonna do my eyebrows and what I do is I get my eyebrows done by this incredible woman, Kelly Baker Brows, and I usually use her eyebrow pencil, but I don't know where it is right now. I'm gonna be straight up with you guys. So I'm gonna use this Anastasia brow pencil. This is chocolate. What I do is I just go at the bottom and I kind of follow my, my, uh, my eyebrow line. Do you see like the line that I kind of made under my eyebrow? It looks kind of silly right now, but I'm gonna go in and like kind of blend it out and it looks so pretty once it's blended out, but I go and I kind of follow the bottom line of my eyebrow and any and I kind of like make the line up if there's like a spot missing. I go on slightly with some strokes like up just to fill in and then I'll just like brush up, brush, 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 brush. After that, I like to take a spoolie. This is the spoolie. I just learned, actually learned that, that these are called spoolies and that's why I love saying the name. Aren't they so pretty? Look. If you're in a rush with eyebrows as well, you could just literally use this by itself. It's the Patrick Ta Tinted Wax for your eyebrows. And what you do is you take a spray, a setting spray, you spray it, take your spoolie, and you just go into it like that. There you go, there's a product on there, and you slightly, you go up like this. I just use this when I'm like, create like two minute makeup, like out of the house. The next thing that I would do, a super easy bronzer, just to kind of like give a little depth to the face. So I love my Fenty Beauty. I love this. This is called Private Island. Just taking one of my Makeup by Mario brushes and it's gonna go in super lightly. And I'm just gonna go up in an upward motion here and on this side. So I'm gonna use a MAC eyeliner and this one is called Costa Richie. And all I'm gonna do is literally go at the tip of my eye, go, go towards my eyebrow, create a little triangle, super fast. Now it's not perfect, it's actually really sloppy. It doesn't matter, because what you're gonna do is you're gonna take an eyeshadow pencil or whatever, and literally just go in and like smudge it. And it kind of gives you this pretty like, just a chill eyeliner. And if you want to, I just go in like this with a darker color. This color is Smolder. And I'll just literally go in just to give it a 3D vibe inside by the waterline, like right here, just at the edge. Oh. oh man, I just messed that up. The one thing I love about a 10 minute beauty routine is if you mess it up, you're like, ah, I guess that's the look. Okay, so we have that done. I'm gonna grab my light, be light beige again and just like add a dot. Literally just leave it there. And as I'm doing that, I'm gonna just do my lip liner and my mascara and we're done. This is Too Faced Better Than Sex. Yes. I'm not gonna tell you whether I think it's better than sex or not, cause I'm not trying to get into trouble. I just go in super quickly, boom, boom, boom. I go from the bottom and I shake up, shake up, shake up, shake up. I'm gonna go back in, get this little area here. It brightens it up. We're almost done. Almost. Before I do lips, um, if I'm just in a rush, I just take this Bobbi Brown, Bobbi Brown Illuminating Moisturizing Balm. I take like two dots of it, put it on my hands, and I just go like this. And I put it on my nose. And it like makes you look not so dry. And I love that. Here's my lip. I'm using KKW 90s Supermodel. Just gonna put it all over. And that's it. And I put my hair down, play with my bangs, and that's my look. Thank you, Allure, for following my 10 minute beauty routine. Um, I can't wait to see you guys next time, and let me know what you think in the comments below. Mwah.